Hey, my name is Zach. I am a fourth year student at Wilfrid Laurier University. My name's Ollie Fitzpatrick. I'm 20 years old and I'm a law student from uh, Brisbane, Australia. Hey everybody, I'm Trey Love. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Hi, I'm Alex. Um, I'm 21. I go to the University of Bristol. My name is Robert Huffman. I live in Los Angeles, California, and I'm a community development manager for Movember. The reason why I decided to kind of start like getting involved with Movember was because like two years ago, uh, when I was in my second year, I was diagnosed with testicular cancer. I kind of felt like a responsibility of like, I, I was fortunate enough to not have to go through extra extracurriculars in this experience. Um, I wanted to make sure that like everyone who was in my network and who could possibly be affected by this the same way I was, um, was in the same boat. I uh, got started with Movember after uh, we lost a, a close friend towards the end of last year. I'm a pretty keen swimmer, so I uh, swam six kilometers each day for the month of November. Yeah, because and yeah, because I can't grow a mustache. So um. this year in 2019, I took it upon myself to raise as much as I could for my brother, who lost a friend to suicide at 16 years old. And it's too often that you know you know that we lose guys far too young, um, and it's because of those stories that you know we a lot of us grow our mustaches or start swimming uh, to spark mm. the conversations and to, and to help other guys that might be going through something similar or might go through something like that in the future. The women like the mustaches too. They do, they actually <laughs> do. During, during the month of November, the women like the mustache. If you can I rock can't it. even grow one. I can't even grow a mustache. So <laughs> you blokes are all, you have to get a microscope to see my mustache. It is a sick having all you guys here, man. We got- Yeah, it's crazy. Top Mobros from around the world, man. This is uh. It's pretty cool to see. Yeah, I wish we were doing this in Mexico, but. I know, or Thailand, right? Yeah. Or Thailand, yeah. Tell us one thing that, that keeps you guys staying positive during this time, that, that you get joy out of. I've just been uh, discovering some more music lately, trying to like dive into different genres. So I've started cycling now, so it's about 20 to 25K. So I try and do that each morning, just to sort of switch on and keep that routine. I started actually this last week um, trying to learn how to how to sketch. It, it didn't really go too well, but um, this is Joe Exotic. Oh, dude! You don't even have the towing, man. I I can see it right away. You need to come out of this stronger and like try to be better than who you were when you went into it. I think that would be the best thing. Definitely, um, found a new appreciation for. Uh, just all of our mates and that sort of thing and we're just really looking forward to being able to be together. Another thing would be is like enjoying the time that you have with people. I hope people are more present. It's obviously trying times right now, Un unfortunate, um, unforeseen. Uh, everyone's going through some, some rocky places, but it, it could always be worse and everyone needs to be fortunate for what they have. It's been quite good to see people getting innovative and finding new ways of connecting with each other. I think also um, what's keeping me motivated is how good it feels to come out of all this and what a big party it'll be afterwards and sitting in the sunshine with your mates and everything, it'll be, it'll be really good. Uh, so I think that's, that's the main thing. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the post-COVID party is gonna be a hell of a party, man. <laughs> <laughs>